Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're gonna go over projects. It's been around for a while, but it has uh, recently hard forked. It's called Zcoin. So we'll look into what it is and how to mine it. See you in a bit. All right, real quick before we go on guys, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Do a couple of these videos every week, speculative coin mining. Um, in this case, this coin's been out for a while, but usually I try and find coins that have just come out, projects that have just come out, and I'll get on them and mine them when the difficulty is low, getting the most amount of coins, and I let you all know about it. All right, so let me shrink myself real quick. We'll also see what that uh, Yintan coin that I did a video on yesterday has done, and also a little briefly on uh, Green Coin. So Z Coin is basically just a privacy coin, like a Monero. Little different spin on how they do things. Um, private fa financial transactions enabled by the Zero Coin protocol. Scroll down just a bit here. How does Z Coin improve privacy of the Bitcoin protocol? Uh, Mint. With Zcoin's zero coin technology, you can mint a coin found on a public ledger into a private coin. Spend it. Uh, when it is time to spin your minted coin, the owner of the minted coin does not need to be revealed. And of course, you can repeat that process of mining and spinning a coin can be completed as many times as you want, ensuring complete privacy. So here recently, uh, maybe a little over a month ago, they did do this MTP hard fork where they um, went off of Lyra 2Z, I believe. Let me look real quick. I think that's what they did. Pretty sure they moved. It was Lyra 2Z. Yeah, right here. Lyra 2Z algorithm. So they basically hard forked off of that and moved to this new algorithm, MTP, proof of work. So... It kind of when I was looking at what to mine, this this um, coin popped up, and I was like, all right, well, let me look into. It. I knew it had been around a while, and of course, discovered that they hard fork new algorithms. So I said, what the hell? Let me try and mine it. Um, here is the Bitcoin talk again. All this stuff will be down below if you want to read through everything. Um, I'll tell you right now, I didn't read through all 363 pages of the Bitcoin talk thread, but you're more than welcome to. All right, so what we need to do first off is get a wallet, which I believe are right here. No, that's the miner. That's that download. So what I did, you can download the um, individual Zcoin wallet, which is going to be right here for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Or if you have a, um, what is it, Zellcore wallet like I do. They hold Zcoin within their uh, wallet, so that's what I did, and I just pulled my address off of that. All right, so you would click download for Windows right there. I have not done this because, like I said, I've had the Zellcore wallet right here, so I just click on receive, and I copy that address right there for my miner. But if you wanted to download the core wallet, and go through that. I'm sure it's a pretty straightforward um, setup process like most of these are. So let me pull up my NVIDIA rig and here's the miner going right now. So I'll minimize that. There's the N10 going right now. So we'll go into the miners folder. We will scroll down a bit. Crypto Dredge is the um, actual miner we're going to be using so we'll go over to here here's crypto dredge right here you would download the latest version version that's one six dot one which i've already done i've unzipped it and i've unzipped it and i've called it crypto dredge let me scroll down a little bit more crypto dredge z coin that's what i call mine Go into here, you're gonna create a run.bat file, which basically you just open a notepad file. I'll show you what it looks like. So here is what it all looks like um, inside the run.bat file. Again, that's copy of that is gonna be below this video. So you just copy that 
and you would change your pool if you wanted to or you can just leave that the way it is that would be fine but of course the most important thing you need to change is your wallet address let me go back which is right in here that wallet address of course i named mine nvidia rig of course you can leave that blank if you want that is totally up to you so where i got my wallet address which is right here i just copied that and threw it in right there once you do that you're just going to click file save as and then name it run.bat or name it whatever you want just make sure it's a dot bat so here's the miner once you um click on it and have it going this is what the miner looks like pretty straightforward uh, it does take a little bit at least in my case it took it a little bit to um get going but once it did it's working fine as you can see what are we at 699 accepted shares 701 so far so good on that we can go over to the pool which is right here and i've got let me refresh that see if i've got any more 0.19265 total paid i didn't see that in my zellcore wallet they must have just done that oh there it is so i did just deposit the uh, little bit that i've got so i started mining this at about 9 945 last night so i still got about as of the time of this video a little over five hours left to mine and i've gotten 0.19 so i'll probably get about roughly 0.21 so if i pull my little sheet up at the current price, I'm at a dollar three right now <clears throat> in less than 24 hours. Current price of Z coin right here, five dollars thirty-four cents for one Z coin. So I may stay on this a little while and try and mine as many as I can because if we scroll down a little bit, you can see <coughs> excuse me, all time high was over a hundred dollars for this coin. So if I can get a couple of these, kind of like I, I do with Ethereum Classic, and just hold them, it's got a really good shot of uh, paying off. It's got, a, like I said, a good shot of paying off in the future. So again, that's Zcoin, guys. All the, all the uh, links you're going to need are down below, including the run.bat file. Let's look into my Yen 10, which I'll pull this back up. I've only mined see here I was only able to mine so far 62.3 yen 10 who knows how profitable that's going to be in the future I don't know but it is what it is I may shortly here jump back on the web chain and start mining that and green coin here we have a green coin 0.53.538 um, unpaid and 0.53 immature so as you can see, it's dropped off. I pulled my NVIDIA rig off of it. So let's head over to BitMesh, where I've been, um, you can see where I sold it all. This is what I've sold so far. Let's head over to the exchange and see what BitMesh is at currently, or uh, Greencoin, sorry. Last I checked, it has been rising a little bit. $3.61. So it's been slowly going up here. A little bit of a drop off here recently. Uh, I think it was 219. I said yesterday and yesterday, uh, yeah, yesterday's video. So it's about a dollar fifty up today. Little spike there. Look at that, 393 now. So I mean, just uh, must have bought some. So I'm still mining that with the AMD rig and letting it go until this drops probably below two dollars, and then I may jump back on Ethereum Classic with that rig. So for the time being, it's going to be Grin Coin and it's going to be Z Coin. I'm going to probably uh, build up a couple bags a couple coins full in my bag and just hold it for a while i'm sure it's going to go back up in the future like everything else so that's a nice turnaround if it does go back to its all-time high right here i think it was uh, 129 dollars i think it was 141 dollars so if i get you know five ten of those which at the current rates i'm getting about 0.21 a day i can get about one and a half a week on that nvidia rig so that's not too bad all right guys i guess that's going to be it for this video 
any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, let me know, um, is the audio better on the past two days? Because I did, in fact, get this new microphone. Actually, uh, show you it right here if you can see it. There it is. New little microphone. So let me know if the audio is better, guys, and any other questions you may have. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Helps the uh, channel out, helps the video out. Okay, guys? With that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.